ஃபஸ்ட் டாபிக் ககன்யான் ஸோ ககன்யான் மீன்ஸ் த ஸ்கை வெஹிக்கிள் ஸோ த மெயின் ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ் ஆஃப் ககன்யான் இஸ் டு அண்டர் டேக் ஹியூமன் ஸ்பேஸ் ஃப்ளைட் இன் த லோ அர்த் ஆர்பிட் ஸோ திஸ் மிஷன் இஸ் டிவைட் இன்டு த்ரீ ஃபேஸஸ் இன் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபேஸ் இட் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அன்க்ரூவ்ட் மிஷன் வேர் த டெக்னாலஜிக்கல் டெமான்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன் சேஃப்டி அண்ட் ரிலேபிலிட்டி வெரிஃபிகேஷன் இஸ் டன் In the second phase, it is unmanned mission called Vyom Mitra where a robot is sent to the space and in the third phase, humans are sent to the space. So, Gaganyan mission is completely indigenous project. So, this mission is launched by GSLV Mark III vehicle. So, coming to the GSLV Mark III vehicle, it is uh, a launch vehicle which can carry about 4 tons of vehicles. weight into the geosynchronous orbit and 10 tons of weight to the low earth orbit so gaganyaan weigh about 8000 kg which is 8 tons so gslv can easily <coughs> carry out carry this gaganyaan into the low earth orbit so some other space missions are first one is small satellite launch vehicle sslv so it is a three stage all carry vehicle which can carry multiple nano small or micro satellites up to 500 kg payload to an altitude of 500 km the second one is radar imaging satellite resat 1a or eos 4 so it is a sixth uh, series of remote sensing satellite which has built to map terrains and study earth's different land areas and oceans coming to the next one is aditya l1 so it is designed to study sun's atmosphere in l1 it is called lagrange point 1 which is between earth and the sun so it will travel around 1.5 million kilometers from the earth for this task so it is going to launch in the mid to 2023 next is chandrayaan 3 so it will carry <clears throat> lander and rover to explore the least explored region of moon which is in the south pole of lunar surface so with a soft landing next is nasa isro synthetic aperture radar nisar mission so here uh, its main objective is to provide information to scientists to better understand the effects and pace a climate change by studying the hazards and global environment changes and it helps to manage natural resources better next is shukrayaan 1 so it is built to design the uh, it is built to design uh, to study the venus so it is a brightest planet in the solar system so shukrayaan 1 is designated to study venus the next topic is antimicrobial resistance amr so antimicrobials are those which fight against diseases in humans animals and plants but when the disease causing bacteria virus fungi and parasites doesn't respond to the medicines then they Uh, in that situation that situation is called antimicrobial resistance so when the when uh, it doesn't respond to the medicines then that condition is called antimicrobial resistance so the microorganisms that develop antimicrobial resistance is called superbugs so according to the study conducted by lancet young children under 5 years are particularly affected to this antimicrobial resistance and in 2019 1 in 5 deaths were due to this antimicrobial resistance the next topic is electric vehicles niti aayog rocky mountain institute and rocky mountain institute india has released banking on electric vehicles in india report So this report provides recommendations to encourage electric vehicles in the RBI's priority sector lending guidelines. So as to boost the investors confidence and encourage electric vehicles in financial industry, uh, this report was released. So India has also <clears throat> taken some initiatives to promote electric vehicles. So they are e-amrit portal, national electric mobility mission plan and fame scheme like faster adoption and manufacturing of evs 
एंड सेवरल स्टेट्स लाइक डेली उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश तेलंगाना आंध्र प्रदेश हैव मेड पॉलिसीज टू प्रमोट मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक वेहीकल्स इसरो हैज़ ऑल्सो कमर्शियलाइज इंडिजिनसली डेवलप्ड लिथियम आयोन बैटरी टेक्नोलॉजी टू प्रोमोट दिस इलेक्ट्रिक वेहीकल्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स सो इट इज़ अ मशीन टू मशीन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम वेर डिवाइज आर ऑपरेटेड थ्रू नेटवर्क्स सो स्मार्ट होम्स ड्राइवरलेस कार्स ऑटोमेशन ऑल आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स सो टू सिक्योर फ्रॉम द नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट्स ऑफ इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक डाटा ब्रिज एंड सिक्योरिटी कोड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस फॉर सिक्योरिंग कंज्यूमर आई ओ टीज वॉज रिलीज फ्राम द टेली कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग सेंटर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज डार्क जीनोम सो डार्क जीनोम इज अ डी एन ए आउटसाइड अवर जीन्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इजरोस एस एस एल वी सो टू हैव मेड इन फ्लाइट इन एप्रिल सो इजरोस एस एस एल वी इज यूज टू लॉन्च मल्टीपल स्मॉल माइक्रो सैटेलाइट्स विद मैक्सिमम लोड ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड के जी इन द लो अर्थ ऑर्बिट्स सो इट इज इट इज इट इज थ्री स्टेज ऑल सॉलिड वेहीकल सो न्यू स्पेस इंडिया लिमिटेड इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग एंड टू एंड एस एस एल वी लॉन्च सर्विसेज फॉर कस्टमर सैटेलाइट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज चाइनाज चांग ए फाइव लूनार प्रो फाइंड्स फर्स्ट ऑन साइट एविडेंस ऑन वाटर ऑन मून सर्फेस सो चाइनाज चांग ए लूनार मिशन हैज डिटेक्टेड साइंस ऑफ वाटर इन द रॉक्स एंड सॉइल सो इंडिया चंद्रयान वन लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड एट शोड एविडेंस फॉर वाटर इन द एक्सोस्पियर ऑफ द मून एंड ऑन द सर्फेस एंड सब सर्फेस ऑफ द मून एंड चंद्रयान टू लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन कन्फर्मड द प्रजेंस ऑफ आइस इन द पर्मनेंटली शैडोड रीजियन ऑफ द मून so on moon even helium 3 is found which can be used for fuel for nuclear fusion so other lunar missions are artemis by nasa volatiles investigation polar exploration rover by nasa korea pa- korea's pathfinder lunar orbiter by south korea and chandrayaan 3 by india so these are some of the other lunar missions the next topic is magnetic field on an exoplanet so uh, a planet beyond our solar system is called exoplanet so researchers have identified the first signature of magnetic field surrounding an exoplanet the earths also have a magnetic field that acts as a shield against the energetic particles from the sun known as the solar wind next topic is telecom players opposes satellite players demand for separate earth station licenses so satellites receive and transmit signals from the space to the earth stations on the earth so the telecom players are opposing to give separate earth station license to the satellite players 10th uh, next topic is conditional market authorization so conditional market authorization is the new market permission given by the drugs controller general of india for the covaxin and covi shield vaccines so conditional market authorization or cma is approve medicine based on the data normally required next topic is omishor omishor omicron patients are detected only after the genome sequencing so to detect omicron omishor kit is launched which is developed by the tata medical and diagnostics and is approved by the indian council of medical research next topic is ihu or university of hospital institutes new covid variant so ihu is a new covid variant detected in france next topic is 5g technology poses a serious threat to the airline safety so 5g is a new generation cellular data network that operates at high frequency and operates high speeds hyper connectivity etc 
so us have launched 5g bandwidth to uh, all mobile companies in 3.7 to 3.98 gigawatts gigahertz range that is disturbing the airline connectivity next topic is solar flare causes radio blackout over indian ocean so solar flare is a light the and heat energy released by x ray radiation and highly accelerated particle of the sun so nasa nasa solar dynamics observatory has observed solar flare so solar flare is classified as b c m and x solar flares so b doesn't cause any effect on the earth and the c type of solar flare affects on the space missions m causes m type of solar flare causes blackout in the radio transmissions and damage to the astronauts outside spacecraft and x space uh, x is, uh, solar flare causes damage to satellites communication systems power distribution stations and electronic equipment next topic is additive manufacturing so it is a process through which 3d object is built or manufactured from a computer aided design model so a new strategy on additive manufacturing was also released by the ministry of electronics and information technology additive manufacturing can be used to manufacture any three dimensional objects like wooden toy a glass table or even a human organ so the initiatives taken by india to improve and encourage the additive manufacturing technology are 3d manufacturing labs were established at national institute of electronics and information technology and uh, atal innovation machines atal tinkering labs are also set up for research purposes with the support of the experts and several states like gujarat andhra pradesh etc have collaborated with the foreign universities to set up a 3d printing labs and department of heavy industries collaborated with wipro to build india's first industrial grade 3d printer the next topic is quantum key distribution so it is a highly secure communication technology that uses quantum physics so it can be used for autonomous vehicle navigation weather modeling and prediction and transportation planning pharmaceutical development secure the financial communications resource explore, exploration etc so it is a secure type of technology next topic is data centers so data centers are the centralized location where large amount of the data is collected stored processed and distributed the next topic is stem cells so stem cells provide new uh, cells for the body and replaces the specialized cells that are damaged or lost so these stem cells are able to develop into many different types of cells so these cells are classified into somatic stem cells and embryotic stem cells so these stem cells can replace the lost or damaged cells that our body couldn't replace and can help in the treatment of various diseases like cardiovascular diseases uh, autoimmune diseases etc so recently a us patient became the first a uh, woman to be cured with the hiv after stem cell transplantation the next topic is uh, nuclear fusion so in a nuclear fusion reaction uh, two light nuclei merge to form a single heavier nucleus so this process releases energy and this reaction naturally occurs in the sun and stars so the scientists in the uk have managed to produce the largest amount of energy so far from the nuclear fusion reaction the next topic is chandrayaan 3 so chandrayaan 3 is a lunar mission which aims to put a lander and a rover in the high lands near the south pole of the moon in, uh, by july 2023 so it is a follow up of chandrayaan 2 
the next topic is tamil nadu says no to indian neutrino observatory project in theni so neutrino is a subatomic particle that is very similar to the electron but has no electrical charge and very small mass which is almost equal to zero is present in the neutrino neutrino so to study neutri- neutrinos indian neutrino observatory is under construction near theni in tamil nadu and uh, the indian neutrino observatory is set up at 1200 meters deep cave so inv are helpful largely in medical fields like x ray machines tt scans mri scans etc the next topic is center moods policy on synthetic biology so synthetic biology means designing redesigning and fabrication of biological components and biological systems that do not exist in nature so biofuels bio remediation biosensors food fortification are some examples of synthetic biology next topic is accelerate vigyan so to accelerate and strengthen scientific research mechanisms in the country accelerate vigyan program was launched in 2020 by science and engineering board so it conducts scientific programs initiate and initiates high end orientation workshop and create opportunities for research internships so under this program some sub programs are also launched uh, like abhyas program which is used for boosting research and development for pg and phd students through high end work workshops and for capacity building activities in science and technology some mohan program was also set up the next topic is vigyan sarvatra poojate so it is one one week festival in the country wide conducted by the ministry of culture as a part of azadi ka amrut mahotsav so it aims to showcase a, and pay homage to the india's achievements in the 75 years of independence next topic is param pravega supercomputer so it is one of the most powerful supercomputer computers in india and is also the largest in the indian academic institution the next topic is indian innovation graphene center so graphene is a thinnest and the strongest material in the world that has a good chemical stability high conductivity and have large surface area and is transparent and lightweight so the first graven in graphene innovation center is established in india in thrissur region of kerala next topic is ramanujan P- prize for young mathematician so it was awarded to a researcher from a developing country who is less than 45 years of age and is working in any um, branch of mathematics sciences so in 2021 professor nina gupta from india was awarded the prize for the outstanding work in the uh, and algebraic geometry and cumulative geometry the next topic is pluto's atmospheric pressure so scientists have derived the accurate value of the pluto's atmospheric pressure which is 60000 times less than the atmospheric pressure at the mean sea level on the earth so it was calculated using 3.6 meters devastal optical telescope which is the india's largest optical telescope and 1.3 devastal fast optical telescope next topic is evos 4 earth observation satellite 4 so this is the fourth series of the earth observation satellite and can capture images for agriculture forestry flood mapping soil moisture and hydrology it is launched by pslv the next topic is parker solar probe so it is the first spacecraft which has flown through sun's upper surface upper atmosphere so on its way it has sent some data regarding venus so the parker solar probe was able to 
peer beneath venus thick atmosphere and look visible and and also took the visible light images of the surface so the th- scientists have found that the venus sky is fully uh, filled with the thick toxic clouds that rain sulfuric acid the next topic is geomagnetic storm that killed starlink satellite so magnetosphere is that area of space that is controlled by the planet's magnetic field so geomagnetic storm is the major disturbance in the earth's magnetosphere that occurs when there is the exchange of energy from solar wind into the space environment surrounding the planet so due to the geomagnetic storm starlink satellites were destroyed next topic is bone uh, bone ossification test so it is a test due to uh, used to determine the age of the person based on the person's bones framework next topic is conversion therapy so it also can be called as reparative therapy or gay cure therapy which is used to change someone's sexual identity so national medical commission held that conversion therapy is banned in india and even in the countries like brazil uk der malta switzerland germany chile etc have introduced criminal ban for practicing conversion therapy next topic is neocov so it is a bat coronavirus that was the first identified in 2011 so in uh, the neo romica bat species this kind of coronavirus is identified the next topic is polio myelitis or polio polio is a highly infectious viral disease that affects the children under 5 years and may affect the spinal cord causing muscle weakness and paralysis so wild polio virus is the most commonly known form of the polio virus so malawi country was recorded as africa's first wild polio virus case in 5 years next topic is lassa fever lassa fever is a zoonotic disease that spreads from animal to human so generally it is passed through the infected rats so Uh, it was first discovered in 1969 in nigeria and it is found in the parts of west africa including sierra leone liberia, liberia guinea and nigeria next topic is cases in fairbanks disease and acromegaly in india so fairbanks disease is also known as multiple epiphyseal dys- dysplasia and in this the bones are elongated and next coming to acromegaly disease so this disease is caused by the excessive secretion of growth hormones next topic is havana syndrome havana syndrome is a mysterious illness which is affected to the us diplomats and intelligence officials worldwide so this syndrome involves hearing certain sounds without any outside noise being present nausea vertigo and headaches memory loss and issues with the balance are the, the symptoms of this havana syndrome next topic is services e health assistance and teleconsultation so it is an online medical platform where a patient can consult a doctor remotely through the internet using the smartphone laptop desktop or uh, tablet so it was launched under the ministry of defense Next topic is FSSAI Health Star Rating. So Food Safety and Standards Authority of India started star rating systems. So the packaged foods will display the number of stars of on the front of the pack indicating how healthy or unhealthy the food pack is. Next topic is artificial snow. So in Winter Olympics athletes have completed 
uh, have competed on the artificial snow so artificial snow is uh, produced by the machine that uses high pressure pump to spray a mist of water into the cold air so the water droplets crystallize and form and form fake snow next topic is net neutrality so net neutrality is the idea that the internet service providers treat all the data fairly without any discrimination of other apps sites or services the next topic is space debris so under network for space objects tracking and analysis netra project uh, isro is building orbital debris tracking system by using the new radars and optical telescopes so space debris can be both natural meteoroids and artificial orbital debris the next topic is genome editing so genome editing is a way of making specific changes to the dna of a cell or organism so there are two types of genome editing the first one is germline therapy uh, therapy and the second one is somatic therapy so germline therapy change dna in the reproductive cells and uh, somatic therapy change dna in the non reproductive cells so ministry of environment forest and climate change has for the first time issued an order exempting certain types of genome editing crops from regulation so genome editing techniques are uh, the crispr cas9 cas9 zinc finger nucleus and talens that is transcription activator like effector nucleus so these are some of the techniques the next topic is chandrayaan 2 makes first observation of distribution of argon 40 in moon's atmosphere so uh, argon 40 was found in the lunar exosphere by chandrayaan 2 so previously nasa's apollo 17 has also detected the presence of argon 4 so chandrayaan 2 was the india's lun- india's lunar mission to explore the south pole of moon by landing its rover the next topic is the gsat 7b and india's other military satellites So GSAT 7B series satellites are advanced geosynchronous transfer orbit satellites developed by the ISRO to meet the communication needs of the defense services. The next topic is ExoMars. So European Space Agency is going to launch ExoMars in 2028. ExoMars mission aim to address the uh, questions whether life has ever existed on Mars or not. Next topic is cluster bombs and thermobaric weapons. So cluster bombs or cluster muta- muni- uh, mut- uh, mutations are non-accurate weapons that are designed to kill or injure human beings over a large area or to destroy vehicles or infrastructure. So these are prohibited under the conven- convention on cluster munitions but russia ukraine india are not part of it the next type is thermobaric weapons Th- these are also called aerosol bombs so fuel air explosives or vacuum bombs are also called this thermobaric weapons so this weapons uses oxygen from the air so it releases al uh, a cloud of fuel and metal particles that spread over a large area and then explode so these are not prohibited by any international law the next topic is man portable air defense systems so these are short range lightweight and portable surface to air mis- missiles that can be fired by individuals to destroy aircraft or helicopters so they have fire and forget systems so western countries sent these man pads to the ukraine the next topic is kamikaze drones so these are the small unmanned aircrafts that are packed with explosives and blast when it hits the target so these are difficult to detect on radar and are cost effective so us has supplied 
kamikaze drones to the ukraine so other countries like russia china israel uh, iran and turkey also have some versions of it the next topic is kavach so kavach is an indigenously developed brain uh, sorry train collision avoidance system so it is developed by the research design and standards organization the next topic is who's global center for traditional Me- medicine in india so traditional medicines refers to the health practice to treat treat diagnose and prevent illness by practicing ayurveda yoga naturopathy unani siddha and homeopathy and sova rokpa types of traditional treatments so who's global center for traditional medicines was set up in gujarat Next topic is World Tuberculosis Day 2022 observed on 24th March. So TB is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So it can spread from person to person through air. So India TB report with the theme coming together to end TB altogether and National TB Prevalence Survey report was released and as per these reports, 2021 has witnessed 19 percent increase in the tb patients than 2022 uh, and in india childhood tuberculosis is 31 percent worldwide and as per the results the national tb prevalence survey 64 symptomatic population did not seek healthcare services so India's vision, vision is to end TB by 2025. So some of the steps that are taken by the government to en- eliminate TB are National Strategic Plan for Tuberculosis Elimination 2017-25 20, to 25, and National Tuberculosis Elimination mes- uh, Program. The next topic is Xenotransplantation. So it is a transplantation of human cells, tissues, organs from a non-human animal source. So pigs are increasingly being used for this as their organs are similar to those of the humans and are uh, tuned, uh, tuned for the genetic engineering also. Next topic is traditional medicines. So in Gujarat, Global Center for Traditional Medicine was launched. So some initiatives taken by India to promote traditional and complementary medicines that is T and CM or Ayush systems are first one is National Ayush Mission that is NAM. So it was launched to promote strengthen educational systems in Ayush that is Ayurveda, Yoga, Unani, Siddha and Homeopathy. Next is Champion Services Sector Scheme for Medical Value Travel. So to support medical tourism and to support for establishing world-class state of art Ayush hospitals, this program was launched. The next is Ayush Export Promotion Council. So to export Ayush products and services and to showcase uh, its in, it in the international exhibitions by collaborating with international agencies like WHO, ISO, etc. was also launched. The next is Ayur Swastya Yojana. So it is an umbrella scheme to promote community health care and health units. The next is Ayush Information Cell. So this has been set up in 31 countries to provide information about the Ayush systems. The next topic is One Health. So, One Health is an approach that recognizes that the health of the people is closely connected to the health of the animals and share and the shared environment. So, Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying has launched One Health pilot project in Uttarakhand. So, a One Health approach tackles shared problems of health threats by uh, looking at all the angles like planet, plants, humans, animals and environment. The next topic is solid fuel ducted ramjet technology. So ramjet is the air breathing engine where it uses air to burn the fuel. So it works efficiently in the supersonic speed. So scramjet or supersonic combustion 
ramjet is an improved version of the ramjet where it works effectively at the supersonic speed next is dual mode ramjet so dual mode ramjet is a type of jet where it works efficiently at the super subsonic and supersonic modes the next topic is gagan so gps aided geo augmentation augmented navigation so it is indian satellite based augmentation system jointly developed by airport authority of india and isro for india and neighboring countries in the equatorial region the next topic is evo s2 satellite so evo s2 our earth observatory satellite 2 was launched in august 2022 by sslv and it is developed by the isro the next topic is telangana space tech framework so telangana is the base for defense and aerospace companies so it has over 1000 msmes related to aerospace defense and space sectors so this framework was launched with a vision of establishing a state as a globally recognized destination for space technology the next topic is space bricks so with the soil of the mars planet guar gum which is a bacteria and with urea and nickel chloride bricks can be made next topic is nasa perseverance rover so it was launched in 2020 by, to study the mars planet so it has captured the solar eclipse on the mars the next topic is genetically engineered mosquitoes so to control the spread of vector diseases like chikungunya dengue zika and yellow fever the scientists have engineered a gene that will kill female of spring of wild aedes aegypti mosquitoes the next topic is w boson so w boson is a fundamental particle with a greater mass so it is responsible for weak nu- weak force which is one of the four fundamental forces the four fundamental forces are gravitational force weak nuclear force strong nuclear force and electromagnetic force so w boson will help to study the universe genetically modified crops so genetic modification technology involves direct manufica- manipulation of dna of many organisms like plants animals bacteria so some examples of genetic modified crops are rice is modified for resistance to drought salinity tungrom virus gel mills bacterial leaf blight and wheat is modified for quality heat tolerance resistance to leaf rust and stripe rust kernel blunt powdery mildew and cotton is modified for fiber strength and oil content gene stacking maize is modified for quality protein biofortification eggplant is modified for resistance against fruits and short bo- short borer mustard is modified for seed yield and oil content low glucosinolate aphid resistance and uh, soya bean is modified for resistance to yellow mosaic virus chickpea is modified for resistance against pod borers sorghum is modified for shoot fly resistance and groundnut is modified for the resistance against tsv virus so various laws and acts procedures are also implemented governing the genome editing in india they are biological diversity act of 2006 so drugs uh, six drugs and cosmetics act of two, for 1947 seed act of 1968 protection of plant varieties and farmer rights 2009 food safety and standards act 2006 disaster management act of 2005 so recently the department of biotechnology issued guidelines for safety assessment of genome edited plants 2022 easing norms for research into the genetically modified crops The next topic is rice fortification. So rice fortification is a process of adding micronutrients like iron, folic acid and vitamin B12 to rice. So recently Department of Food and Public Distribution has issued standards operating procedures to maintain desired quality standards for implementation of rice fortification to address malnutrition, anemia, micronutrients deficiencies and 
అబవ్ ఫుడ్ సేఫ్టీ అండ్ స్టాండర్డ్ అథారిటీ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఎఫ్ఎస్ఎస్ఐఐ ఇన్ ద ఫుడ్ ఫోర్టిఫికేషన్ దిస్ వన్ దిస్ ఎఫ్ఎస్ఎస్ ఏఐ ఈజ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ అండర్ ద ఫుడ్ సేఫ్టీ అండ్ స్టాండర్డ్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్ అండర్ ద మినిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ హెల్త్ అండ్ ఫ్యామిలీ వెల్ఫేర్ సో ఇట్ లేస్ డౌన్ సైన్స్ బేస్డ్ స్టాండర్డ్స్ ఫర్ ఫుడ్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేట్స్ దేర్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ స్టోరేజ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సేల్ అండ్ ఇంపోర్ట్స్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ జి దట్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్త్ జనరేషన్ సో ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ హ్యాస్ ఇనాగరేటెడ్ ద కంట్రీస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫైవ్ జి టెస్ట్ బెడ్ విచ్ ఇస్ యూస్డ్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ జి టెస్టింగ్ అండ్ రీసెర్చ్ సో టోటల్ ఎయిట్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ హ్యావ్ కొలాబరేటెడ్ ఫర్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ద కంట్రీస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫైవ్ జి టెస్ట్ బెడ్ టు ఇంప్రూవ్ ద స్టార్ట్అప్స్ అండ్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ప్లేయర్స్ టు టెస్ట్ అండ్ వ్యాలిడేట్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్స్ లోకల్లీ అండ్ రెడ్యూస్ ద డిపెండెన్స్ ఆన్ ద ఫారెన్ ఫెసిలిటీస్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ హైపర్ లూప్ సిస్టమ్ సో హైపర్ లూప్ సిస్టమ్ ఇస్ అ హై స్పీడ్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ సిస్టమ్ దట్ యూజెస్ రినీవబుల్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ క్యాన్ మూవ్ అట్ వెరీ హై స్పీడ్ సో దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సిస్టమ్ క్యాన్ బీ యూస్డ్ ఫర్ పబ్లిక్ అండ్ గూడ్స్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ సో ఇండియన్ రైల్వేస్ కొలాబరేటెడ్ విత్ ఐఐటి మెడ్రాస్ ఫర్ ద డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండిజినస్ హైపర్ లూప్ సిస్టమ్ సో ద బెనిఫిట్స్ ఆఫ్ హైపర్ లూప్ టెక్నాలజీ ఆర్ హై స్పీడ్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ లో పవర్ కన్జంప్షన్ కన్వీనియంట్ అండ్ నాన్ డిస్ట్రప్టివ్ lower carbon emissions and climate change economical for long term and weather and disaster proof next topic is lithium ion battery so lithium ion battery is a family of rechargeable battery types consisting of four components in lithium ion cell so they are anode cathode separator and aqueous ele- electrolyte so recently union government has constituted an expert panel to probe the recent series of battery explosions in an electric vehicles so advantages are of the lithium battery are it has high specific density which is a parameter of detecting amount of charge a battery can supply and it has high voltage high energy density and low self discharge so disadvantages are it has thermal runaway which leads to catching fire less stability high reactivity and fragility the next topic is virtual private networks so or vpn so it is a secure connection between a com- com- uh, computing device and a company network using public internet so uh, it organizations and other companies use vpn connections for safe and secure working capacity the next topic is scientific um the next topic is scientific social responsibility so it is an ethical obligation of knowledge workers in the field of science and technology to contribute their knowledge and resources to the society so the department of science and technology has released scientific social responsibility guidelines in 2022 the next topic is black holes so a black hole is a place in the space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out so this can happen when a star is dying recently a black hole at the center of milky way was photographed for the first time the next topic is biological research regulatory approval portal so this portal provides all the regulatory approvals for biological research in the single portal and bio rad id is generated the next topic is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 as2 so it is a receptor protein that provides entry point for a coronavirus into a human cell the next topic is monkey pox so it is a zoonotic disease where animal to human transmission can takes place through the ortho orthopox virus genus and the next one is ministry of ayush and food safety and standards authority of india fssai formulates regulations for ayurveda ahar products so uh, regulations of uh, and the food safety guidelines were made for manufacturing quality ayurveda food products so that international markets can be expanded under the make in india the next topic is stratospheric observatory for infrared astronomy sofia mission 
so it is a joint project in collaboration between nasa and german space agency so it is a telescope inside boeing aeroplane which is flying at an altitude of 40000 feet above the surface so nasa is planning to shut down the sofia telescope so it has found water on the moon and also discovered helium hydro hydroxide sorry hydride the next topic is plants in the moon's soil so moon soil is also called regolith so it was brought to the earth and um, grown a hardy plant called arabidopsis thaliana so a plant was grown on the moon soil so the next topic is scientific research infrastructure sharing maintenance and network guidelines so Shreeman guidelines are released by the Department of Science and Technology for better access and sharing of public funded scientific research and development. The next topic is artificial intelligence based era stay to make uh, roads in India safer to drive. So here uh, intelligent solutions for road safety through technology and engineering project. So it is developed under national mission on interdisciplinary cyber physical systems which aims to create strong foundation and seamless ecosystems for cyber physical systems by coordinating and integrating nationwide efforts for knowledge generation human resource development and research etc next topic is prime minister's wi-fi access network interface pm warning scheme so this scheme was launched under the Ministry of Railways and free Wi-Fi services are provided across 100 railway stations in 22 stations, states. The next topic is Paramporul. So it is a supercomputer manufactured and assembled within the country under the phase 2 of National Supercomputing Mission built, it, uh, built at NIT Tirchirapalli. The next topic is quantum internet. Quantum internet will connect quantum computers all over the world. So it will enable to send and receive information using the quantum bits. The next topic is true random number generator. So it will improve security for the sensitive digital data. Private sector in space program of India. So Prime Minister called for higher participation of the private sector in space programs at inauguration event of In Space in Ahmedabad. So In Space is the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center. So it is an autonomous single window nodal agency to promote, authorize, monitor and supervise the space activities of the non-governmental private entities in India and the other space programs that provide private players are the nsil which is a new space india limited so this encourages collaboration of private sectors and startups in the space sector the next topic is green hydrogen so the hydrogen produced through using the renewable energy is called green hydrogen so a report green hydrogen opportunities for deep decarbonization in india was released by the Niti Aayog and this report states that green hydrogen is cre critical to India's net zero ambitions for 2017. So some other technologies for green hydrogen production are first one is alkali um, Yes, alkaline electrolysis technology, polymer electrolyte membrane electrolysis and solid oxide electrolysis. So these are some of the technologies uh, to promote the green hydrogen in India and uh, to promote the green hydrogen initiatives in India, national hydrogen mission was launched to target production of 5 million tons of green hydrogen by 2030. And India's green hydrogen policy was also launched to promote the production in the private sector by making some regulations. Next is the types of hydrogen. So if the, uh, if the hydrogen is produced using renewable energy, then it is called green hydrogen. 
if it is produced through methane pyrolysis method then it is called clockwise hydrogen if it is produced by electricity using grid elect uh, grid electricity then it is called yellow hydrogen if it is produced through natural gas then it is called black or gray hydrogen if it is produced through fossil fuels then it is called brown hydrogen if it is produced through sequestering brown or gray hydrogen then it is called blue hydrogen if it is produced by using nuclear power then it is called pink or purple or red hydrogen and if it is produced through the by product of industrial processes then it is called white hydrogen the next topic is food safety so uh, food safety and standards authorization of india has released the food state food safety index so the parameters of the index are consumer empowerment training and capacity building food testing infrastructure and surveillance compliance human resources and institutional data so some initiatives launched for food safety are eat right india uh, blissful hygiene hygienic offering to god hygiene rating of restaurants the next topic is 5g open radio access network ran so it is a technology that connects mobile users over the radio waves so the center of development of telematics vsig networks private limited dvdn technologies private limited have signed the agreement for developing the 5g open ran the next topic is web 5.0 so web 5.0 aims to build an extra decentralized web where we can control our own data and identif- identity so other previous web versions are web 1.0 so web 1.0 in this we can only read the data from web pages web 2.0 in this uh, internet was made interactive and uh, was able to communicate with the servers in web 3.0 the secure the data was read by machines and interpreted the information in web 4.0 these services are autonomous self learning and collaborative the next topic is liquid mirror telescope so it is a it is india's first and asia's largest liquid mirror telescope it was built by the astronomers from india belgium and canada it has a rotating mirror made up of thin film of liquid mercury to collect focused light so it is present in the divastal observatory of aryabhatta research institute of observation sciences in uttarakhand where it observes asteroids supernova space debris and other celestial objects the next topic is fast radio bursts so these are the bright bursts of radio radio waves whose duration lie in the millisecond scale so these are first discovered in 2007 and their origin is unknown next topic is artemis accord so this accord aims to return humans to the moon surface by 2025 with the help of us allies and private companies so uk japan france canada have signed this accord the next topic is cis lunar autonomous positioning system technology operations and navigation experiment so it is a part of artemis accord launched by nasa to fly near and around the moon next topic is cancer cure so many us patients were cured with r- uh, rectal cancer called mismatch repair deficient cancer the patient suffering from this condition lacked the genes to correct types of dna that occur naturally while cells make copies called immunotherapy next topic is steel slag so steel slag is a by product of steel making so it can be used in agriculture sector to correct soil acidity so it can also be used for transportation industry construction cement production waste water and waste what waste water treatment etc next topic is nixtamalization so the ancient people of central america are called maya people so they used to fortify the food by adding it nutrients to maize through uh, to a maize food material through a chemical process known as nixtamalization the first topic is crispr cas9 technology or 
cluster regulatory interspaced short palindromic repeats that is c crispr full form so crispr is a genetic sequence or a genetic code found in the bacteria to remember the virus that attacks them by taking the virus dna into their own bacterial genome and gives protection or immunity when a specific virus try to attack again and cas9 is a molecular scissors that cuts the unwanted dna so some important definitions are dna dna is deoxyribonucleic acid so it is a hereditary material in uh, most of the living beings next is rna rna is ribonucleic acid it is a single stranded nucleic acid they are hereditary material in some viruses so next is gene uh, genes so it is a specific section of dna it is involved in making rna or protein next is genome genome is a house of dna or genes so molecular scissors is also called as a restriction enzyme so they cut the unwanted dna so the crispr cas9 method is used for the treatment of cancer hiv and uh, path parkinson genetic manipulation etc next topic is space tourism so it provides opportunities for normal people to travel in the space so three companies have entered space tourism they are blue origin virgin galactina and spacex so different types of space tourism include orbital tourism suborbital tourism and moon tourism as per the federation anti aeronautic international which is a governing body for aeronautics and astronomical records space starts at an altitude of 100 kilometers above the surface of the earth called the karman line so at that point the space doesn't support any flying objects next is initiatives of india towards the space tourism are first is gaganyaan mission and the other one is indian national space promotion and authorization center in space the next topic is national anti doping act of 2022 so here doping means consumption of certain prohibited substances like steroids narcotics etc to improve their performance in the sports so india is the third highest country who uses doping so to prohibit the doping in sports national anti doping act of 2022 was passed by the parliament so another important concept of national doping uh, testing laboratories is it was established with the aim to get permanently accredited by international olympic company and wada that is um, world anti doping agency ha- uh, can do testing for the banned drugs in human sports the next topic is polar satellite launch vehicle so pslv it is also called the world uh, workhouse of isro so it is the third generation launch vehicle in india it can take the load up to 1750 kilo grams that is kgs to sun synchronous polar orbit which is 600 kilometers altitude and it is successfully launched it has successfully launched many satellites in the orbit it is a four stage launch vehicle where the first and third stages are solid and the second and fourth stages are liquid so after reaching space pslv orbital experimental module that is poem derives power from the solar panels and lithium ion battery the next topic is james webb space telescope so um some goals of this telescope is to search for the first galaxies or hum- um, luminous objects from formed after the big bang and to determine how galaxies have evolved observing the stars formation etc so james webb space telescope is the nasa's infrared flagship observatory with the collaboration of the european space agency and the canadian space agency 
the next topic is lux zeppelin dark matter detector so we have visible universe which consists of earth sun and other stars and galaxies which is of only 5% of the universe and the rest 95% is the mysterious invisible substance called the dark matter and the dark energy the dark energy here repels gravity and doesn't interact with the electromagnetic force so to detect the dark energy lz detector was designed with the collaboration of scientists and institutions from us uk portugal and korea the next topic is penta quarks and tetra quarks so quarks are the smallest elementary particles the combination of the group of two or twos or threes form hydron hadrons like protons and neutrons that make up atomic nuclei the combination of four quarks and five quark particles are called tetra quark and penta quarks respectively so recently the large hadron collides uh, beauty experiment has absorbed observed the three pa new particles at the european organization of nuclear research the next topic is fiberization so fiberization is a process of connecting radio towers with each other via optical fiber cables so it provides additional bandwidth and backhaul support so india has 33% of towers fiberized in the us and uh, us japan and china it is about 80 to 90% fiberization next topic is tihan that is technology innovation hub on autonomous navigation so it is a technological research hub on navigation launched by ministry of science and technology the first tihan hub was inaugurated in iit hyderabad the next topic is crypto jacking so crypto jacking is a type of cyber attack where computing device is hacked for generating new crypto coins so it is very difficult to detect the hacker in this case the next topic is battery certification and quality control so the fires in electric vehicle have increased in india especially so the central government formed a panel to formulate the procedures on battery certification and quality control other steps taken for the battery safety are Uh, the bureau of indian standards formulated the performance standards for electric vehicles batteries and uh, probe committees are formed to look into the issues of fire incidents and reuse of electric vehicle batteries was launched the next topic is report on accelerating access to genomics so genome is a house of dna and genes so genomic technology is used for human genomics for medical purposes agriculture aquaculture genomics biological and medical research etc recently world health organizations science council has issued its first report in that report it stated that even though the cost of establishing the genomic technology is decreased low income countries are not encouraged in the field of accessing genomic technology the next topic is draft drug medical devices and cosmetics bill 2022 so the main objective of the bill is to regulate the medical norms and support innovative drugs of ayurveda siddha sova rigpa unani and homeopathy the next topic is monkey pox so monkey pox is a viral disease that spreads through the physical relation between men to men so it if a um, it is a person to person transmission disease so many cases were found outside africa it is declared as an endemic one so here we have to learn the difference between endemic epidemic and pandemic diseases so if a disease is con constantly present in the population or a region with low rate of spreading then it is called endemic disease if a disease is a sudden increase in cases in a large number then it is called epidemic and if there is a if there is a sudden increase in the cases across the several countries around the world 
then it is called pandemic next topic is africa's first malaria vaccine so malaria is the illness caused by the plasmodium parasites through the bites of infected female anopheles mosquitoes so according to the world health organization's world Mal malaria report in 2021 there were um, an estimated 241 million malaria cases and 6 lakh 27000 malaria deaths in 2000 So in India 83% estimated cases are reported and 82% of malaria deaths have occurred in the entire Southeast Asia region. So uh, in Africa the first malaria vaccination was introduced and it will spread to all over all the eligible endemic countries. The next topic is viruses in news. So human papilloma virus so it is a sexually transmitted virus and causes cervical cancer so it is the second most common cancer of the women in india and it can be prevented by providing vaccination to the puberty girls next top uh, next virus is epstein barr virus ebv so it is a cancer causing virus and infects the neurons called Uh, neuron cells and it is it can also cause brain cancer next topic uh, next virus is marburg virus disease so mvb it belongs to the same family of ebola it is transmitted through fruit bats it is highly infectious and causes hemorrhagic fever so next topic is diseases in use so black fever black fever is caused by protozoan parasite disease spread by sand fly bites so in india this disease is endemic in bihar jharkhand uttar pradesh and west bengal next is african swine fever so it is a deadly virus disease affecting pigs wild boar this disease cannot be transmitted from pigs to humans it is a non zoonotic disease next topic is bioplastics so bioplastics are derived from the sources such as sugar cane uh, sorry sugars and starches and do not create toxic waste in their production so they are 100% degradable next topic is pop fame so it is a polychloropropanated fatty acid methyl ester it is a fuel made from bacteria family called streptomyces next topic is 5g spectrum auction spectrum means the band of frequencies related to radio waves 5g spectrum uh, of 10 bands was allocated to the mobile industries and other sectors for for communication purposes 5g spectrum has three different types of bands the first one is low band it has less than 1 gigahertz spectrum and it is essential to build coverage of thinly populated areas next is mid band it ranges from 1 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz and uh, it is ideal and can easily carry data while traveling significant distances next band is high band it is it ranges from 24 gigahertz and higher and it delivers super fast speeds over short distances the next topic is genomic surveillance so it is the process of constantly monitoring pathogens and analyzing the genetic similarities and differences to identify the danger variants so for genomic surveillance in india some st steps were taken so india's sars cov2 genomic consortium was established and regional genomic sequencing laboratories and indian tuberculosis genomic surveillance consortium was established the next topic is small modular reactors so these are the advanced nuclear reactors that have power capacity of up to 300 megawatts per unit it is affordable and can promote sustainable development and less fuel is consumed the next topic is quantum key distribution so quantum key distribution is a secure communication technology that uses quantum physics it is developed by the 
Kew New Labs in Bangalore under Innovation for Defense Excellence, IDEX. Next topic is Draft Guidelines on Anon uh, Anonymization of Data. So it is a type of information sanitization whose aim is privacy protection. So it is the process of removing personally identifiable information from data sets so that people whom the data describes remain anonymous. So Ministry of Electronics and IT through e-governance standards and guidelines has released the draft guidelines on anonymization of data. Next topic is Smart India Hackathon. 2022 so it is a nationwide initiative to provide a platform for a class six class sixth to twelfth and college growing students to solve some of the processing uh, pressing problems we face in our daily lives next topic is itu's regional standardization forum so itu is international telecommunication unions so here, ITU is the United Nations Specialized Agency for Information and Communication Technologies and RF, RSF, that is Regional Standardization Forum, is a platform for exchanging the ideas, discussing standardized topics like sustainable digital transformation, harnessing technologies for digital and financial inclusions in emerging markets. So recently, Ministry of Communications has hosted International Telecommunications Union, RSF, for Asia and Oceania regions. Next topic is hydrogen fuel cell bus. So hydrogen fuel cells is a device that converts hydrogen and air into electricity, heat and water. So it is first indigenously developed hydrogen fuel cell bus and it was jointly developed by Council of Scientific Industrial and Research and Private Firms KPIT Technologies Limited. Next topic is Roshini. So Roshini is India's first saline water lant uh, lantern. So it gives power to LED lamps by generating power using sea water as electrolyte. The next topic is small satellite launch vehicle so it is a three-stage all-solid vehicle which can carry up to 500 kg satellite into low earth orbit of 500 kilometers so recently a satellite sent through sslv failed as it was injected into wrong elliptical orbit the next topic is observatory to monitor space so a space sector startup called digantara was set up and it is India's first commercial space situational awareness observatory in Garhal region of Uttarakhand. So space situational awareness refers to the knowledge of space environment, assessment of any threats to space activities, etc. So ISRO also have SSA that is space situational awareness control center called NETRA. Netra is network of network for space objects tracking and analysis. So Netra is uh, the space ISRO's control center for space situational awareness. So it will de detect the debris and other hazards to Indian satellites. So US and India have also signed the space situational awareness agreement. The next topic is Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest planet. It has 79 moons and the Saturn has 82 moons. The next topic is NASA postpones launch of Artemis 1 mission. So Artemis mission aims to explore the moon with objective of getting humans on lunar surface. So Chandrayaan 3 of India, Pathfinder, Lunar Orbiter of Korea, Luna 25 of Russia, SLIM of Japan are some of the lunar missions with the same objective. The next topic is Earth records shortest day. So 29th July 2022 has recorded the shortest day. So some researchers believe that it was due to the Chandler wobble. So Chandler wobble is 
means the change in the spin of the earth on its axis the next topic is battle gives so it is the dying star and is in the final stages of stellar evolution researchers believe that this uh, battle gives star has underwent enormous surface mass ejection where it releases 400 tri trillion tri times more mass by expelling large amount of plasma and magnetic flux the next topic is exoplanets exomoons so the planets which orbit around the stars other than sun are called exoplanets and the natural satellites that revolve around the exoplanets are called exomoons so 5000 exoplanets were traced by several telescopes and to trace exomoons indian institute of astrophysics have developed a model to trace exomoons with the help of james webb space telescope so it is nasa's largest this james webb telescope was the lar nasa's largest and most powerful telescope so it is going to trace this exomoons next topic is pen plus strategy so africa has adopted package of essential non communicable diseases intervention that is pen plus strategy to decentralize primary health services such as type 1 diabetes rheumatic heart disease and sickle cell disease the next topic is visceral leishmaniasis or kala azar so government aims to eliminate kala azar by 2023 kala azar is also called black fever so it is caused by the protozoa parasite of leishmania genus and spread by sandfly bites so it is a non tropical disease and it is the second deadliest parasite disease caused in the world after malaria so it is endemic in bihar jharkhand uttar pradesh and west bengal it affects spleen liver and bone marrow the next topic is tomato flu or tomato fever so it is caused by coxsackie virus a16 a and leads to fever joint pains and red tomato rashes so it was reported in kerala tamil nadu haryana and odisha so till now there was no specific treatment or vaccination available for this tomato flu next topic is langya henipa virus l a y v so it is a zoonotic virus which can spread from animals to humans it is detected in domestic goats and dogs and it causes fever fatigue cough loss of appetite and renal and liver failure in humans next is lumpy skin disease so it is caused by capripox virus and over 57000 cattle were killed across india due to lumpy skin disease it is not a zoonotic disease uh, that means it cannot spread from animals to humans so recently lumpy skin uh, lumpy provac ind vaccine has been developed by indian council of agricultural research next topic is battery energy storage so many of us use phones laptops electric vehicles cameras etc so to use those for a longer period better energy storage batteries are needed and that has led to the advanced cell chemistry acc battery storage so the advanced cell chemistry batteries use the advanced technology that can store electric energy either as chemical electrochemical or as a chemical energy and convert it back to the electric energy as and when required so recently niti ayog has released a report on battery energy storage called advanced chemistry cell energy storage in india report next topic is non communicable diseases so these diseases will be for a long duration and are also called as chronic diseases cancer cardiovascular diseases chronic respiratory diseases and diabetes are the examples of non communicable diseases so as per the world health organization report called invisible numbers the true scale of non communicable diseases stated that non communicable disease led to 66% of deaths in india in 2019 so some initiatives taken by the government to um, prevent the non communicable diseases are 
first is national program for prevention and control of cancer diabetes cardiovascular diseases and stroke next is ayushman bharat health wellness center scheme next is pradhan mantri ujwala yojana to reduce the indoor air pollution and food safety and standards authorization of india has banned the sales and advertisement of junk foods in schools canteens and within 5 uh, 50 meters around school campuses and fssi has also launched eat right india movement and also government is also uh, promoting activities like yoga to address the risk of cardiovascular diseases the next topic is cloning cloning is the process of producing the duplicate of the biological entity with the same genes cells tissues etc but even after building an organism by introducing the same genes of the original one due to the environmental factors their physical features might not be the same as that of the original one so this method can be used for conserving rare and endangered species so recently china has successfully cloned a wild arctic wolf which is a native to the high arctic tundra of canada's queen elizabeth islands the next topic is xr technology startups so xr means extended reality so it is a collective term for the virtual reality mixed reality and augmented reality so because of the 3d images and more concise structures obtained in the virtual mixed and augmented reality this extended uh, reality technology can be helpful to train surgeons in medicine field and to describe about the product in businesses and to make the virtual trip to some locations so to accelerate the xr technology startups in india ministry of electronics and information technology startup hub and meta have collaborated to accelerate the xr technology startups in india the next topic is quantum network so it is also known as quantum internet and it is the internet that makes use of the properties of photons to transmit the data in the most secure manner iit madras has become the first indian institute to join ibm quantum network so this network aims to develop quantum computing skills development and research in india the next topic is india's first lithium cell plant so india's first lithium cell plant manufacturing facility will be launched in tirupati which is in andhra pradesh and lithium cells are used for mobile phones hearable and wearable devices so india's largest lithium battery plant is in gujarat so it produces batteries for automobiles and energy storage applications the next topic is chimetric antigen receptor t that is scar t cell therapy so in this therapy the affected persons white blood cells one of the white blood cells called t cells are modified by introducing genes to identify and fight against some type of cancer cells so this process is done only once to a patient so it takes short time and can be recovered more rapidly so this scar t therapy was indigenously developed by iit bombay and tata memorial center and was tested on patients so this research is funded under the nation biopharma mission by biotechnology industry research assistance council byrac so the next topic is um in covax so it is the world's first intranasal vaccine for covid-19 and it is developed by the bharat biotech biotech so this vaccine is given through the nose next topic is sarvavac sarvavac is a vaccine indigenously developed by india for the cervi- cervical cancer so in this type of cancer the cancer cells develop in the lower part of uterus that connects the vagina so it is caused by hpv virus which is transmitted sexually so the sarvavac is also called as quadrivalent human papilloma virus vaccine was developed by the serum institute of india supported by the biotechnology industry research assistance council that is byrac and bill and melinda gates foundation the next topic is studentship program for ayurveda research 
Ken program that is Spark program. So this program supports the research ideas of young undergraduate students in Ayurveda. The next topic is Navic navigation with Indian constellation. So it is developed by ISRO and it it is the early, it was earlier known as IRNSS that is Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. So there are four navigation satellite systems in the world. They are uh, GPS from USA, GLONASS from Russia, Galileo from European Union and BDOE from China. So in addition, there are two regional satellites, um, navigation systems. They are India, uh, from India it is NAVIC and from Japan it is QZSS. The next topic is inflatable aerodynamic decelerator. So many space missions fail due to the improper landing on moon and other planets as they could not overcome the acceleration suddenly to land. So a new technology was introduced to decelerate an object descending through atmosphere. So that technology is called inflatable aerodynamic decelerator. So it is made of Kevlar fabric coated with polychloroprene. So it has high tensile strength, toughness, thermal stability etc. So this technology is going to be introduced in Venus and Mars missions. The next topic is Mars oxygen in situ resource utilization experiment that is MOXIE. So MOXIE produces oxygen like a tree does. So it inhales carbon dioxide and produces oxygen. As Mars contain approximately 96% of carbon dioxide, MOXIE was sent with NASA's Perseverance rover. So MOXIE was developed by uh, MIT Institute. Uh, the next topic is Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART mission. So DART mission has crashed an asteroid that was coming to the Earth using kinetic impactor technology. So by using kinetic impactor technology, Mars was, uh, sorry, the asteroid which is coming was redirected. Next topic is Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2022. So Corellin R. Bertozzi from USA, Martin Meldel from Denmark and K. Barry Sharpless from USA were awarded Nobel Prize for the development in the click chemistry and bioorthogonal chemistry. Click chemistry is a branch of science in which the molecular buildings, blocks break together quickly and efficiently and a copper catalyzed aside alkyl cycloaddition reaction is an example of click chemistry and is now widely used in the medical chemistry. Next is K. Barry Sharpless and Martin Meldel have laid the foundations of click chemistry. Corellin Bertozzi developed the click reactions that work inside the living organisms to map the important biomolecules on the surface of the cells called glycans. So the two concepts called the click chemistry and the biochemistry contribute for the development of antibiotics like anti-cancer agents, micro, uh, antimicrobials, herbicides, photostabilizers, etc. and can map the complex biological processes like DNA and it has helped in improved targeting of cancer pharmaceuticals. The next topic is Nobel Prize in Physics 2022. So Nobel Prize was given to Ellen Aspect from France, John F. Clauser from USA and Anton Zellinger from Austri Austria. So they were awarded for their experiments with the entangled photons, establishing the violation of Bell inequalities and pioneering quantum information science. Thus, these experiments have established a new foundation in the quantum mechanics. The next topic is Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2022. So Swedish genetist uh, Svante Pabo was awarded Nobel Prize for his discoveries of extinct hormones and human evolution. His research gave rise to a new scientific discipline for the study and analysis of genes of ancient or extinct organisms called paleogenomics. The next topic is One Health. So the term One Health recognizes the interconnection between the health of humans, animals, plants and the environment. One Health Joint Plan of Action was launched by four agencies comprising of 
UN Food and Agriculture Organization, UN Environment Program, World Health Organization, World Organization for Animal Health. The One Health Joint Action Plan aims at mitigating the health challenges at the global, regional and the country level. The global initiatives for the One Health Program is the Pillansburg Resolution 2001, One World, One Health Program, National Framework for One Health 2022. The steps taken by India to implement the One Health uh, project is approach is collaboration at the national and state levels to combat specific disasters in animals, institutional collaborations like collaboration of Indian Council of Medical Research and Indian Council of Agriculture Research to control disease outbreaks and One Health Support Unit initiated by the Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying to develop a national One Health Framework and the National Mission on Biodiversity and Human Well-Beings and the last one is One Health Projects and uh, the other one is Regional One Health Initiative. So all these are the initiatives taken by India to promote One Health. The next topic is Flex Fuels. So Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has launched the first of its kind pilot project of Flex Fuels Strong Hybrid Electric Vehicles in India. So these vehicles can run on ethanol or methanol blended petrol. Next topic is Mars Orbiter Mission, MOM. So it is an Indian Mars Orbiter mission. So it was launched in 2013 and was successfully inserted into the Mars orbit. And it's uh, in its first attempt itself. And uh, this mission has made India the first Asian country and the fourth in the world to reach Mars planet. So this mission has given the information about the composition of several gases in Mars exosphere. It has photographed inside view of one of the natural satellites of Mars and the MOM team was uh, has won the US based National Space Society's Space Pioneers Award for Science and Engineering category in 2015 and Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace Disarmament and Development is awarded to the ISRO for its significant contributions of MOM mission and other MOM missions are Perseverance Mission of USA, Hope Mission of UAE, Tianwen 1 of China, Mars Moon Exploration Mission of Japan. The next topic is Commercial 5G Service. So government has launched Commercial 5G Service. It, ha it can transform businesses by improving op operations, customer experience, employee efficiency, etc. So in India, 13 cities were chosen to implement 5G commercial service. The next topic is the Global Lighthouse Network. So it is a community of over 100 manufacturers that are showing leadership in applying fourth industrial revolution technologies like artificial intelligence, 3D printing and big data analytics. Three factories from India were awarded were added to the Global Lighthouse Network. The next topic is LVM3 M2. So it is a mission which was uh, it is a first commercial satellite mission of the new space india limited which is a branch under the department of Sa uh, space so here lvm3 m2 mission launch vehicle is a three stage launch vehicle consisting of cryptogenic upper st upper stage solid rocket boosters and core liquid stage it has carrying capacity of 8 tons to the low earth orbit and 4 tons to the geotransfer orbit. It has launched Chandrayaan 2 and also will launch Gaganyaan, Chandrayaan 3 and Aditya L1 missions as well in future. The next topic is Sampurnanand Optical Telescope. So this telescope is used for the optical observations of comets, occultation by planets and asteroids star forming regions and star clusters etc so it has discovered the rings of uranus saturn and neptune and first detected optical afterglows of gamma rays bursts and microlensing event discovery of quakes in various stars etc so this telescope has completed 50 years of its operation the next topic is sodium content on moon surface. So Chandrayaan 2 has mapped the global distribution of 
sodium on the moon's surface the next topic is tidal disruption events tdes so when a star and black hole gets close to each other due to the gravitational force a part of the star elongates and surrounds the black hole at that time enormous heat is generated and creates large amount of flashlight so this light can be seen by us even uh, we are some million light years away the next topic is gamma ray burst so gamma ray burst is the most powerful explosion ever seen since big bang scientists are thinking that this burst have occurred due to the massive star explosion in the supernova the next topic is partial solar eclipse so when a moon gets in between earth and sun then moon casts a shadow over the earth solar eclipses occur only at a new moon phase so there are different types of solar eclipses so they are the total solar eclipse the total solar eclipse occurs when the moon completely passes between sun and earth blocking the surface of the sun the next one is partial solar eclipse so it occurs when the moon earth and sun are not in a straight line only a part of the sun is covered and the third one is annular solar eclipse so if a solar eclipse occur when the moon is in the farthest position from the earth it is called annular solar solar eclipse so it look it, uh, in this ty uh, type the solar eclipse looks like a ring around the moon the next type is hybrid solar eclipse so a solar eclipse can shift between annular and total solar eclipse as the earth surface is curved so that type of solar eclipse is called a hybrid solar eclipse the next topic is genetically modified mustard so genetic en engineering appraisal committee geac is the apex biotech regulatory body in india under the ministry of environment forest and climate change geac has recommended to release the transgenetic hybrid mustard called dhara mustard hybrid 11 that is dmh 11 the next topic is world health organization releases the global tb report 2022 so as per the report tb deaths has increased between 2019 and 21 india has the highest count with 28% of tb cases the next topic is first ever fungal priority pathogen list fppl so who has released the first ever fungal priority pathogens list so this list include 19 fungi which are categorized as critical high and medium priority so critical group includes cryptococcus neotermus candida auris aspergillus fugi, uh, fumigatus and candida albicans and high group so high group includes nacosomocytes glabrata histoplasma spp uh, umi um, uh, umicytomia causative agents mucorrhils fusarium spp candela tropicalis and candida paracelosis so medium group includes um, skin dysporium spp limentospora prophylli kens cockidio uh, dits spc spp and pichia uh, candida crucel uh, thaleromyces marilli and all these things so um, these are these are lore, the 19 fungal pathogens that are a major threat to the public health the next is oral rehydration solution so in 2002 dr dilip mahalanobis has invented ors for emergency use for diarrheal diseases so dr dilip mahalanobis along with the dr uh, uh, nathoniel has discovered uh, sorry along with this doctor were awarded pollen prize by columbia university for this discovery of ors the next topic is athletic biological passport abp so it is an anti doping tool that monitors selected biological variables over time to reveal the effects of the doping next topic is indian biological data center 
So it was inaugurated at Faridabad in Haryana. It stores all the data related to all the life sciences. So that digitized data will be stored on a 4 petabyte supercomputer called Brahm. So it is supported by the Department of Biotechnology. The next topic is private sector participation in space sector. So Vikram S rocket was India's first privately built rocket. It was built by Hyderabad based Skyroot Aerospace Company and it was launched with the support of ISRO and in space. The next topic is Artemis 1. So it is the first integrated mission of NASA for deep space exploration system. The next topic is um, Global Vaccination Market Report 2022. So it was released by World Health Organization. The next topic is global participation on artificial intelligence, AI. So it is an inter international and multi-stakeholder initiative to guide the responsible development and use the artificial intelligence consistent with human rights, fundamental freedom and shared democratic values. So it was launched in 2020 and consists of 25 member countries. Um, so India is going to chair the global partnership on artific artificial intelligence from France. The next topic is Yotta D1. So it is India's biggest data center built at Greater Noida. So data center is the dedicated space within the centralized location where computing and networking equipment is centralized for the purpose of collecting, storing, processing, distributing or allowing access to the large amount of data. The next topic is OceanSat Earth Observatory Satellite Observation Satellite EOS. So it is a third generation satellite designed and developed for ocean studies. So before OceanSat 1 and OceanSat before uh, this one, uh, OceanSat 3, OceanSat 1 and OceanSat 2 were launched. The next topic is SARAS telescope. So its full form is shaped antenna measurement of background radio spectrum. SARAS-3 telescope. So it is a precision radio telescope to detect the extremely faint radio wave signals from the cosmic dawn. If a luminous galaxies are formed 200 million years after the big bang then it is called as cosmic dawn. So this telescope is used to detect the extremely faint radio wave signals from the cosmic dawn. So it is indigenously designed and built at the Raman Research Institute and is deployed over Dandi uh, Gahanali Lake and Sharavati backwaters in Karnataka. The next topic is coronal holes. So coronal holes are the dark region on the sun's surface through which the fast solar wind gushes out into the space. So these holes can cause the solar storms on the earth as they release a complex stream of solar winds. So when these solar winds interact with the earth's magnetic field, it causes geomagnetic storms. The next topic is um, leap second. So leap second is the second inserted in the international clocks to align universal coordinated time with the earth's tracking universe time. So the general conference on weights and measures which is a supreme authority of the international bureau of weights and measures has passed a resolution to put an end to the leap year sorry to the leap second from 2035. The next topic is hydrogen internal combustion engine. So Rolls Royce was successfully tested with hydrogen powered jet engine to know whether the hydrogen fuel can safely and efficiently deliver the power for small to mid-size aircraft. So it contains hydrogen internal combustion engine and uses hydrogen as it is not same as the hydrogen fuel cells which is used in the electric vehicles. The next topic is small modular reactors. In 2020, Russia's academic Lomonosov built the world's first floating nuclear power plant. The next topic is guidelines for uplinking and downlinking the satellites, television channels in India 2022. So if the communication going from a satellite to the ground, then it is called downlinking. And if a communication is going from ground to satellite, then it is called uplinking. 
So, cabinet has revised the guidelines for satellite television channels after a period of 11 years. So, under this guideline, Centre has asked to telecast the content under uh, the content in the national or public interest for 30 minutes every day. Next topic is nuclear fusion. So, it is the process by which two light atomic nuclei combine to form a single heavier one while releasing massive amount of energy. Nuclear fusion creates a nuclear reaction that generates more energy than it consumes. So recently in the fusion experiment using lasers, the scientists have the scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California achieved a net energy gain for the first time. The next topic is National Geospatial Policy 2022. So geospatial data is the description of events or occurrences in the location or near the earth's surface. So to, uh, strengthening of the geospatial sector is very important for the national development. So Ministry of Science and Technology has notified the citizen centric national geospatial policy 2022. The next topic is space sustainability so it refers to the uh, to ensuring that all the humanity can continue to use outer space for peaceful purposes and socio-economic benefit now and in the long term so recently united nation office of outer space affairs and the government of austria austria organized world space space forum in 2022 with the theme sustainability in space for sustainability on earth the next topic is Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose, J.C. Bose. So he is called the father of radio science. He was the Indian physicist and the plant physiologist. He proved that plants have life and feel pleasure and pain. So using crescograph, he proved that plants have life. He also wrote that plants grow more quickly when exposed to nice music and gentle whispers and poorly and they grow poorly when exposed to harsh music and loud speech. So he also mentioned that plants become depressed when exposed to polluted air and darkening skies. So he was also a pioneer in the research of millimeter waves. He also developed the world's first wireless communication link at 5 mm wavelength using a spark transmitter and a spiral coherer as a receiver. His major uh, works in biology involved response in the living and non-living and the nervous mechanism of plants. So he was a first science fiction writer in Bengali uh, in Bengali language. Uh, Niruddeshar Kahani and the story of the mission one were the first science fiction works in Bengali. He also thought great minds like Satyendranath Bose, in which where the Bose and particle was named after the Satyendranath Bose itself. And J.C. Bose also thought Meghanand Saha, P.C. Mahalanobis, etc., who went to become the famous scientists of India. So recently, Ministry of Culture has organized the international conference on the occasion of 164th birth anniversary of the Indian scientist Jagadish Chandra Bose. The next topic is Space Tech Innovation Network. So it is India's first dedicated platform for innovation, curation and venture development for the space entrepreneurial ecosystem. So ISRA has signed Memorandum of Understanding with Social Alpha in launch to spin. The next topic is Surface Water and Ocean Topography Mission or SWAT mission. So it is the first satellite mission that will measure the height of the water in freshwater bodies and ocean on more than 90% of the earth's surface. So SWAT, SWAT mission, mission will cover the entire earth's surface between 78 degrees south and 78 degrees north latitude at least once every 21 days. So this SWAT mission is a collaborative effort of the NASA and the French. So SWAT mission is a collaborative effort of NASA and French. So Fr French Space Agency along with the contributions from Canada and US Space Agencies. The next uh, topic is 
Perseverance mission. So this mission is a part of Mars exploration program. It is sent to Mars by NASA. Next topic is Artemis 1 lunar mission. So it is the first integrated test of NASA's deep space exploration system. The spacecraft built for crew members in this mission is called Orion. So Orion has performed a new landing technique called skip entry to reduce the force of gravitation and they landed safely. So Artemis 1 demonstrate that Orion's heat shield can withstand the high speed and high heat conditions while returning through the Earth's atmosphere. And other moon exploration missions are Chandrayaan-1 was launched by ISRO, Luna-2 was the first spacecraft to land on the moon by the USSR and Apollo-11 was the first humans to land on the moon by USA. The next topic is gamma ray bursts (GRB). So gamma ray bursts are flashes of high energy r- radiation arising from energetic cosmic explosions. The next topic is GLASS report 2022. So GLASS full form is Global Antimicrobial Resistance and Use Surveillance System. So GLASS report is released by World Health Organization and is launched in 2015. So GLASS full form GLASS is an antimicrobial resistance provides a standardized approach to the collection, analysis and sharing of the antimicrobial resistance data by the countries. The next topic is World Malaria Report 2022 released by WHO. So as per the report there were estimated 247 million cases and 619000 malaria deaths globally in 2021 India has 79% cases and 83% of all malaria deaths occurred due to southeast asian regions the next topic is winning over mothers with hepatitis b So hepatitis B disease is caused by hepatitis B virus and can lead to the death due to uh, cirrhosis or liver cancer so it can also be transmitted from mother to child so to raise awareness institute of liver and uh, biliary sciences and the delhi government has launched a yellow ribbon campaign to increase public awareness about the viral hepatitis by appointing 100 mem- mothers with hepatitis b as ambassadors and educators the next topic is hiv infection rate declines by 46% between 2010 and 2021 by naco so naco is national aids control organization under the ministry of health and family welfare so it acts as a nodal agency for national aids control program so as per the naco 46% of infection rate was decreased between 2010 and 2020 2021 and aids related deaths are declined by 70% so initiatives that are taken by india to uh, reduce this hiv is first is national digital repository so it is a digital hub where all resource materials related to hiv and aids uh, will be available for the common public next is national data hub of naco so it is a central digital repository for the key reports documents and all approved data of naco for internal use the next one is Uh, apna hi chalega campaign to eliminate the hiv related stigma and discrimination so hiv virus weakens a person's immune system and at present there is no cure for hiv but with the proper medical care it can be controlled from leading to aids the next topic is tuberculosis research finding trends 2005 to 2021 report so tb research funding trends report is released by treatment action group and stop tb partnership the next topic is patho detect kit so patho detect kit can detect tuberculosis and other multi drug resistance with a single test so it is a low multi drug resist uh, sorry it is of low cost and it do not require special infrastructure for operations so it is developed by the pune based my lab The next topic is ethylene glycol. 
So it is a colorless and odorless alcoholic compound mostly used for the hydraulic brake fluids, stamp pad inks, ballpoint pens, paints, cosmetics, plastics etc. So these ethylene glycol and diethylene glycol are illegally used as solvents in the liquid drugs to cut the cost. So Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals issued a uh, Gazette in notification titled Ethylene Glycol Quality Control Order 2022 to encounter the usage of ethylene glycol in the pharmaceuticals. The next topic is scientific publication in India. So as per the National Science Foundation, Science and Engineering Indicators 2022 report, India's global ranking in scientific publication is third rank. The next topic is Community Innovator Fellowship. So this program is an initiative of Atal Innovation Mission. So the Community Innovator Fellow is an individual with an entrepreneurial mindset with an idea to solve the community challenge through his or her enterprise. The next topic is She STEM. So it is an annual event to celebrate women in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics and sustainability. She STEM program was organized by Embassy of Sweden in India in, Pitten, uh, in partnership with Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Aayog and German Center of Innovation and Research. The next topic is Digi Yatra. So it is a contactless, seamless processing of passengers at airport based on facial recognition technology. So it is launched by the Ministry of Civil Aviation in three airports in the country. The next topic is online gaming. So online games refers to the games that are played over some form of company network, a computer's network. So India's online gaming industry is expected to be worth of 15,500 crores by 2023. So Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has become the nodal ministry for these online gamings. Next topic is Stay Safe Online Campaign and G20 Digital Innovation Alliance launched by Ministry of Information and Technology, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So Stay Safe Online Campaign was launched to raise awareness among citizens to stay safe in the online world due to the widespread use of social media platforms and rapid digital payments. G20 Digital Innovation Alliance was launched with the objective to identify, recognize and enable the adoption of innovative and impactful uh, digital technologies developed by startups of G20 nations as well as United Non-Member Nations. The next topic is India Internet Governance Forum, IGF 2022. So India, uh, Indian Governance Forum is an initiative associated with the United Nations Internet Governance Forum to discuss public policy issues related to the internet. The next topic is Project Vani. So it aims to build artificial intelligence based language model that can understand diverse Indian languages and dialectics. Google India and Indian Institute of Science has teamed up for this initiative. The next topic is Asia's first drone delivery hub. So it aims to deliver important supplies like drugs, diagnostic samples, vaccines quickly and safely to different regions of the state using dedicated drone delivery network. Meghalaya government along with the Tech Inc. Eagle startup will work on this project. Next topic is Two Africa Pearls. So Two Africa Pearls is one of the world's longest subsea cable systems that will connect the countries in Africa, Asia and Europe. This connectivity will improve the broadband internet connectivity in India. Next topic is Fourth Industrial Revolution, Industry 4.0. So Fourth Industrial Revolution is a combination of technologies that are driving change in the society. It is a fusion of technologies like artificial intelligence, internet of things, robotics, big data, etc. So India's first fourth industrial revolution center on healthcare life sciences will be set up in the Hyderabad with the collaboration of World Economic Forum. The next topic is generative artificial intelligence. So it is a type of artificial intelligence system capable of generating text, images or other media in response to prompts. 
so it can create things such as pictures audio writing samples 3d printers etc so open ai's chat gpt google's bard ai dali codex gpt3 etc are popular generative artificial intelligence programs so the tech companies around the world are harnessing generative artificial intelligence for various cases next topic is national green hydrogen mission so this mission aims to generate 5 million megatons of green hydrogen by 2030 so it is launched under the ministry of new and renewable energy the next topic is trans fat so trans fat or trans fatty acids are the unsaturated fatty acids that come from un, uh, natural or industrial sources so naturally occurring trans fats can be found in the cows and sheep industrial trans fats are used in food industry and for good taste better texture and longer shelf life so these are partially hydrogenated oils that remain solid at room temperatures so these can increase the risk of heart attack and stroke so recently world health organization has released a report titled countdown to 2023 world who report on global transplant uh, trans fat elimination 2022 so as per this report mandatory limits or ban on uh, trans fat is effective in 60 countries and in 2022 india oman and uruguay implemented the best practice of trans fatty acid policies the next topic is neglected tropical diseases so neglected tropical diseases are the diverse 20 conditions that are mainly prevalent in the tropical areas they are neglected because they are almost absent from the global health agenda so recently world health organization has released global report on neglected tropical disease 2023 so as per this report uh, 16 countries have 80% but, uh, burden of this uh, global neglected tropical diseases so more than 1 billion people are Uh, treated for neglected tropical diseases between 2016 and 19 and 47 countries have eliminated at least one neglected tropical disease by december 2022 so in 2021 as also 25% fewer people needed treatments against this neglected tropical diseases than in 20- 2010 billion people require treatment for at least one neglected tropical disease as per the world health organization's report the next topic is large hadron collider so it is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator so it has discovered higgs boson and god particle which is fundamental force carrying particle in higgs field responsible for granting other uh, particles their mass so higgs boson particle was discovered in 2012 the next topic is smart program so smart program uh, full form is scope for mainstreaming ayurveda research in teaching professionals program so smart program aims to boost scientific research and in iron deficiency anemia obesity etc through the ayurvedic colleges and hospitals so it is launched under the ministry of ayurveda the next topic is digital india awards dia so these awards are given to encourage and honor innovative digital solutions exemplary initiatives by various government entities so enam which is identified uh, sorry which is unified national portal for agricultural commodities trading and e vicheshna vivechna app which is uh, which helps in crime investigation and mine mitra which is which approves mining plan online and dore sarkar which peop uh, which provides service delivery and welfare schemes at people's doorstep all these are the four digital apps awarded under the ministry of electronics and information technology the next topic is quantum coherence so it is the ability of the quantums to remain in its entanglement or and superposition during interactions so a team of uh, international scientists made a possible of 
retaining quantum coherence of quantum dot spins qubits. So quantum dots are used in the photoconductors and photodetectors, biomedical and environmental applications, LEDs and display applications. The next topic is Bar OS. So it is an Android open source project with no Google apps or services. So it is developed by Jantke Operations Private Limited and incubated at IIT Madras. The next topic is Solitary Wave. So solitary waves are the distinct electric field fluctuations that follow constant amplitude phase relations. So Indian scientists have reported the first evidence of the solitary waves in Mars magnetosphere with the help of the data recorded by the MAVEN that is Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution spacecraft by NASA of NASA. So the next topic is C by 2022 E3 ZDF set TF comet. So it is discovered by the USA's Palomar Observatory. So this comet is going to appear for the first time in 5000 50000 years. The next topic is RR Lyrae stars. So RR Lyrae stars are known as for their fluctuating brightness and is helpful in measuring the distances. So in a spherical cloud surrounding the galaxies called Milky Way stellar halo, more than 200 RR Lyrae stars are discovered. The next topic is immune imprinting. So it is a tendency of the body to repeat its immune response based on the memory of the first infection through infection or vaccination. So recently scientists have found that immune imprinting will be less effective if the booster dose is given to the body. Next topic is lithium deposits in India. Geological Survey of India has discovered the first lithium deposits in Salal Haimana area of Rezi district of Jammu and Kashmir. The next topic is NASA. Uh, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar Satellite. So its main aim is to map the entire globe in 12 days and provide spatially and temporarily consistent data for understanding changes in the Earth's ecosystem, ice mass, etc. So it will use L-band and S-band radar instruments. The next topic is WHO's Pandemic Treaty. So WHO want to introduce the Pandemic Treaty with two major international initiatives. The first initiative involves revising the international health regulations to improve the global health alerts, speed and efficiency. And the second initiative involves negotiating new Pandemic Treaty to provide a, information, a more information uh, which is efficient and equitable response to pandemics in the future. The next topic is small satellite launch vehicle SSLV. So it is a three stage launch vehicle and is capable of launching uh, mini micro or nano satellites of 10 to 500 kg mass up to 500 kilometers orbit. The next topic is world's first 3D printed rocket engine. So Agnical Cosmos, a space tech startup incubated in IIT Madras has successfully conducted the flight acceptance test for its 3D printed rocket engine Agnilet. The next topic is International IP Index. So it is released by US Chambers of Commerce. So it evaluates protection of intellectual property rights in 55 of the world's leading economies. So India was ranked 42 out of 55 countries and US has topped the index. The next topic is micro LEDs display. So micro LED display comprise several microscopic LEDs which self illuminate per display pixels just like the original LED panel does. The next topic is um, large language models. So these assist researchers in the subfield of artificial intelligence. So these are used to provide the information from the scratch uh, that it will also help in writing essays and composing social media posts. The next topic is Aadhaar Mitra. So UIDAI has launched its chat box called Aadhaar Mitra. So it provides information about most Aadhaar services like Aadhaar centers, Aadhaar en enrollments or update status etc.
next is wolf 1069b so wolf 1069b is an exoplanet that is orbiting around the red dwarf star called wolf 1069 so here red dwarf stars have a very low mass and are referred as coolest stars the next topic is jupiter moons so jupiter has 92 moons and beats the saturn with the most number of moons so fourth largest moons of jupiter are four largest moons of jupiter are lo europa ganymede callisto so lo is the most volcanically active body in the solar system europa is europa's surface is mostly watery ice and uh, Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system and uh, it is the only known, uh, known to have its own internally generated magnetic field and Callisto's surface is extremely heavily catered and ancient. ancient. So next is uh, lymphatic filariasis or LF. So LF or elephantiasis is a neglected tropical disease it is transmitted through mosquitoes so mass drug administration was launched by union ministry of health and family welfare to eliminate lymphatic filariasis by 2027 the next topic is trends in maternal mortality 2000 to 2020 report so this report is released by who as per the report every day in in, in 2020 uh, approximately 800 women died for from preventable causes related to pregnancy and childbirth in 2020 70 percent of all maternal deaths were in sub-saharan africa the next topic is dar es salaam declaration so it is a declaration made by 12 countries to end aids in children by 2030 the next topic is international health regulations 2005 so it is a legally binding agreement of 196 countries to build capability to detect and report potential public health emergencies worldwide the next topic is hybrid sounding rocket so if a rocket uses different propellants one solid and the other liquid or gas is called hybrid rocket so sounding rockets are those where one or two stage solid propellant rockets used for probing upper atmosphere regions and for space research. So India's first hybrid sounding rocket launched by private players from Chengalpattu in Tamil Nadu. The next topic is nuclear energy program. So Haryana's first nuclear power plant will be set up in Gorakhpur village. Next topic is Bharat 6G mission. So 6G is the successor of 5G. It has a frequency of range of 95 gigahertz to 3 terahertz. It is almost 100 times faster than 5G. 6G network provides ultra high performance, intelligence, massive connectivity, bandwidth and ultra low energy and cost. So for 6G research and development, Bharat 6G vision document was released under the Ministry of Communication. The next topic is space tourism. So in India, Gaganyaan mission is getting ready for the space tourism by 2030. So there are two types of space tourism. One is suborbital tourism where we can experience six minutes of zero gravity at 100 kilometers height and the other one is the orbital tourism where we can remain a day or for weeks in orbit at the height of 400 kilometers the next topic is one world tuberculosis summit so this summit was organized by the ministry of health and family welfare and stop tb partnership with the theme yes we can end tb so in this event ministry of health and family welfare has released leading the way india tb report 2023 so as per the report highest cases are in delhi and the lowest tb cases are in kerala so india has contributed the highest number of tb cases in the world so some initiatives are also launched by indian government to eliminate tb so they are Nixchai Potion Yojana, National Tuberculosis Elimination Program, Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan, New Diagnostic Test, 
Ayushman Bharat Digital Health Mission. So all these are some of the initiatives taken by India to eliminate the TB. The next topic is biocomputers. So biocomputers are defined as the computers that use biological components like brain organoids, organoid like or the brain cells instead of electrical components. The next topic is quantum communication. So the quantum theory and laws are used for the communication network to protect and secure the data. So ne next one is sodium intake reduction. So WHO report highlighted a reduce uh, to reduce the intake of sodium by 30% by 2025 globally as it increases the risk of heart diseases, strokes and premature death. The next topic is controlled re-entry of satellite so it involves deorbiting to a very low altitude to ensure that impact occurs within the targeted safe zone so isro has carried out this experiment on the aged satellite the next topic is pallet beam propulsion so as as per this system this theory a laser hits the pallets of the heavy spacecraft and it heats them and breaks them into small parts and melts them to become the plasma. The next topic is food irradiation. So radiations like gamma rays, x-rays are sent through the food products like agricultural products to delay the decaying process. So this method is called food irradiation. The next topic is candida auris. So it is a multi-drug resistance fungus. So even antibodies are given, the symptoms like fever, chills don't go away. So it is currently spreading in USA. So it is an anti-drug resistance fungus. Next is Technology and Innovation Report 2023. So this report is released by United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. The next topic is Vibov Fellowships. So it is a fellowship given to NRI researchers to improve the research ecosystem of India's higher educational institutions. So it is launched under the Ministry of Science and Technology. The next topic is Learning Science via Standards Initiative. So it is launched by the Bureau of Indian Standards. The main objective is to use the scientific concepts, principles and laws in practical application to help the student understand better. Next is sand battery. So sand battery is the high temperature thermal energy storage that uses sand to store heat energy. So Finland has installed world's first sand battery that can store heat for renewable energy sources for months.